Hello, wonderful people. I'm back again um, with another uh, vintage sewing junk journaling kit. Um, it's pretty packed as usual, and so um, I'm just going to jump right in. Um, what I've done with this one is, and it's sewing, there is a, you know, a slight bit of uh, fashion uh, in this as well. So let me start with um, this stuff here. Okay, what I have done is put together um, a, you know, like a variety of things. You know, my kids are super eclectic and they have their sort of a you know, just a whole, I don't even know. They're, they're just a variety of things, um, that I think artists can use in their, in their journal making. Um, and this one is themed. So sewing, vintage sewing. So let me jump right in. One of the first things I'd like to start with is this beautiful dangle here. And it's got sewing on there. There's a little sewing machine. There's another little sewing machine. And this little charm right there says, I love to sew. So, so, so cute. Um, and look at that little handmade bag there with the pen going through it. And the pen has some beads on it. And then there's some buttons. And some scissors. How adorable are those? As for sewing, there's a little tassel with a little vintage bow. Another shank button. And there's a thimble with some beads. And a, a garment clip. clip. To hold it all together and that's made by Jim to the eye vintage on Etsy so I'll definitely link her shop and she's new at making these so I think she's doing a great job so there's that and I'll be sure when when if someone buys this I'll be sure to link um, a tag on this clip um, that gives her shop information um, okay what else so I've got let's see let me do the fabric First, and then we'll start with the other stuff so the fabric I included in here that's trim I put in several well a lot right there's several pieces and I'm trying now guys to add to my kids um, items that you can make like fabric pockets with um, and so and some of this may be repetitive in other kits but it's still extremely relevant so or at least I think it is so and for this one let me see this is some old vintage um, linen and this god this stuff is so nice oh my god it's a pretty big piece in there it's so it's crisp I don't know how else to describe it it's just super super stiff and crisp it's got a little marking there it's got some hand crochet there or hand um, embroidery there some pretty flowers and it looks like they were starting the maker was starting something else there and it's just great and the reason why I put this in the kit is for stamping purposes so you can make pockets with that you can stamp images on it um, then I put in some eyelet and I'm not going in any order here and that's really pretty and it's wrinkled so there's a pretty nice piece of that I love that um, as pockets that's pretty cool and then this is some sheer piece I won't unravel it because if I do it'll go all everywhere but it's sheer and it's a fold so there's a pretty good piece of that and I'll tie a ribbon around all of this and take the pin out I put that there so that it can hold it together this is from my great auntie's estate and this is where she sewed on her sewing machine <laughs> um, and it's pretty there's some you know summer daisies and you've seen this before if you watch my videos I include I'm um, okay so I'm almost down to, gosh, 
like almost like the last last of a lot of my great auntie's fabric but I have a few I have some more of this left and I have a few more other things goodies that will come later um, then this piece here you've seen before it's pretty it's got some little blue and gold green flowers and these are little fabric pieces and I think these are contemporary these are not vintage and you've seen this before and I think this makes awesome pockets and tuck spots tip ins I think it's really cool and remember guys with my kids you can use them even though I make themed kits um, most often you can use uh, these pieces for anything they're not they don't have to necessarily be for um, a specific theme so I put a lot of, of um, textile fabric in this one this is a pretty good piece of, of uh, lace and florals and I'm just trying to share the love um, so some of this you will see again and I love this this is almost like a powder kind of I don't know it's just really pretty and it's so soft so there's that and there's a good piece of that in there lace and here's another piece of scrap lace it's a remnant um, scrap piece so there's that and that's more in sort of a peachy color here is a vintage handkerchief and it's so cute guys look at that it's not that pretty that hand embroidery there just gorgeous love it love it love it love it this one doesn't have any flaws it's um it's it it is what it is it's just beautiful and my camera probably is not going to do it justice um you'd have to see it in person this makes great pockets too love that and then here's some vintage floral pieces with lots of flowers big flowers i should say because there there's a lot of floral pieces um, in the kit but this one's got some big flowers on it and there's that and that and this feels um like cotton it's pretty pretty it's kind of heavy um this is but it feels really really good like if you were to put that you know on your skin you you'd be fine um you you'd like it uh let's see this is for my great auntie's estate I'm down I've even photocopied this and I say that in every video <laughs> I photocopied it it was an experiment I like to experiment a little bit with you know with supplies what I have just to see what things look like how they work I experimented a lot when I brought my really expensive printer and um, so you get a really good piece of this and this is true vintage I'm almost out of it I got still have a little bit left I have a lot of her recipe stuff and a lot of her um a lot of her uh flowers a little bit of flowers left i shouldn't say a lot but i still have some of the flowers left and there's some i think i put some in here and then this is pure white linen old vintage linen my great grandmother guys i have to tell you um oh my gosh i was probably about eight months pregnant with my daughter and I just remember being with my great-grandmother which wasn't that long ago and staying with her in a little tiny house that she owned my my whole family you know everyone owned their homes they they paid for them very early on they were very um, responsible good citizens good people um, and 
the thing about my great grandmother is I remember, I mean, she'd always make me breakfast early in the morning, my grandmother too. But my great grandmother ironed her pillowcases and her sheets um, before she would put them on her bed. And I think a lot of that came just from her being um, a domestic worker as well. And this is not from her estate or my estate, but it just reminded me of that. This is very, very nice. Um, and it's still sewn together here at the end, um, so you could probably just make a pocket. It's kind of like an already uh, ready-made pocket there. So that's pretty nice. And remember, guys, with this soft um, cotton, true 100% cotton, you can just kind of like stamp on it. But I, it just reminded me of my great-grandmother. Loved sleeping in her beds. Everything was just so soft. All of my my all of my whole family. I was just a lucky, lucky, lucky child. <laughs> I had a really good childhood. I just have to say that. Right from the get-go, I'm very fortunate. Still very fortunate. Um, okay, I showed this early on. Um, let's see. And, oh, I think I just randomly showed this. And I was saving it for something special. Well... This is it. Uh, I wanted to save it for a sewing kit. And it's, you know, save the packaging um, if you're new to junk journaling or if you're new to journal making. This is vintage. Um, I love the Cameo. There's no barcodes. This is really old stuff um, made in the USA. And it's never been opened. It's open here. I can feel the rickrack there, but you can see where the seal is still sort of of um enclosing it and securing it but that's really pretty you could probably even scan that um and share it with other people you when i say probably if you have a scanner is what i mean you definitely can scan that so there's that trim um and some golden green and there's some more there you can probably hear one of my dogs scratching his bed. He's preparing it to call some hogs. <laughs> you just kind of have to know what that means to get it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, there's that. Um, love this trim. There's some sorry silk. And some lace trim. Oh, sorry. And there's some of this pretty trim. Lace. Some appliques. Some of this stuff you'll see in a, um, I have a custom order coming up. And some of this you'll see, um, some of the same, like some of these pieces you'll see um, in that kit as well. Just because I, you know, I sort of spread it out. Because, I don't know, shabby chic sewing, yeah, it's border. It kind of cross-secs there a little bit. There's some more trim. And I just kind of decorated that with a cute little pin. And I put some cardboard on the end. Some buttons. Okay, now let me just fly through this, guys, because I have a lot of paper to get to. Buttons, tags. These are buttons on their original card um, thingies, and some of them are vintage. Some of them are vintage with a barcode, like that's an old Walmart. From an Etsy store I supported by buying um, something, majestic buttons, tickets, 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 tickets. Um, this is really cute. It's a strawberry course you know that right you can see that but I say that because I'm just so proud of this I love this it's old and I just put some really pretty hat pins down hat pins uh, corsage pins and quilting pins and um, I don't know what you call these they come on a oh, let's see a little wheel like that I don't know what you call those maybe they're quilting pins too but anyway there's that there's um some of that beatrix potter dress for a child a young child grow gain chinese braid trim i think is what that's called i don't remember um okay i'll stop talking 
whoops there's an old uh this is an old guess button guys i didn't even open that it's just got guess of course it has a barcode because guess is kind of like you know it's cool and there's one button and it says guest jeans on there. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. There you go. Yes. Okay. I gotta hurry. I don't want this video. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to start talking about my video. So let me hurry. Old pro cards. Martha Stewart tags. Cigarette uh, mm, cards. But these also say that. I don't know these were just down in something you want kind of like green stamps guys I don't know but anyway there's a butterfly and um, some daisies um let's see oh I did put one in there okay so I'll take that one out um, there's a thimble there a bobbin Some pins. There's another little sewing thing. Some buttons. This is a um, measuring tape. It's not fabric though, but a sewing machine could go through that. And it is vintage. It's really pretty too. It's kind of like a pink, peppermint pink retro kind of look to it. Okay, uh, let's see. There's a whole little host of buttons here. And I didn't open these or go through these. I just found them down in some stuff I got from um, thrift stores. Okay, um, and that's it. There's another bobbin in there. So I, I doubled up on those to make sure I got bobbins in there. There's some clothing tags. Um, those are vintage. I have a whole box of those. You know, I use these. I put these in everything. Um, there's some tickets, more tickets. Um, I've shown these before, but I, I just have a whole thing of these, and they seem to be really popular now, um, maybe in white. But I found this box, and I could have got more, but I just bought one because I wasn't sure. So there's a ton of those, but I just put a few in there just because, you know, who wants to have like a thousand of those? Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, I put them in everything, actually. Um, here's an old, um, oh shoot, what do you call that? Darn it, I can't remember right now. And I know that, what, what you call that. But that's really cool. And that's vintage, baby. That's a takeaway. Um, let's see. There's another one of these little thingies. There's some garment pins. There's some Tim Holt little baby clips there. Can't see it really good, but you guys know what it is. Some pins, buttons. Okay. Love that. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. So, let me put all this back. Let me put you on pause, guys, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all that in there, stuffed in there. Um, okay, let me move this out of the way and we'll keep going. All right, so I also have, um, oh, let's see, just some coffee dyed stuff and a kid's card. And I guess what I mean by kid's card is just, you know, a flash card. Old vintage index cards. You'll probably see more of these because likely I doubled up when they're separated from the pile over there. It's suspicious that I've doubled up <laughs> and had a brain um, toot. Okay, um, those are packaging packaging pieces um that one has a barcode these two don't this one's really old okay but i won't I have to point all out all that out this is some um these are i should say some tags that i made um with some washi there's some pens and some 
sewing and there's a sewing machine thread a dress form thingy yeah so I made those um, jeans flashcards another zipper and playing cards let me try to keep this down here here's one of those tacky things those are the ones that are really popular now I see a lot of people using those um, and there's some tags regular more cards a button My 1976 cards, index cards, envelopes, and baby size. Um, more envelopes and baby size. Those are really good to use um, for small embellishments in your journals. And you can coffee dye those. I do. Index cards. I think I doubled up on those. Whatever. Um, CD sleeve vintage these are vintage and they're already perforated I just took them away from the little spiral thing catalog cards from the library blue index cards vintage index cards sewing tools game piece card um, more tags oh and these are really cute guys these are like little pieces of ephemera that I made. There's some ledger. And what I did was just scan um, some of the ledger and bingo pieces and made those. And they were so fun. There's a little tiny card, a uh, button I sewed on a little card. And then here's some French um, flashcards, color, same even piece, face figure shape, iron to dress garment evening clothes man fashion manner way and there are some beautiful uh, buttons on the foil you know those are old and those are old JC Penney uh, company and there's the back and I still have the yellow tag on it and they're all nice and so even the card is yellowed um, if you remove the buttons and use them the card is just gorgeous. You might even remove these buttons and put your own uh, buttons that you like on there. I think like some, I don't know, teal, turquoise, red, blues. Not blue. I'm not a blue person. Um, my aunt was, but I'm not. Um, okay, here are some um, floss pieces. And I put three colors in there for sewing. So there are those. And, okay, let me remove this. And here's a zipper, guys. This is an old zipper. Look at that packaging. It's so... <laughs> it's old. There's a key on there. Even the packaging. And I think I put a piece of packaging of a different thing over there. So it's got some ladies on it. Right? Okay. I gotta hurry. 23 minutes. La, 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 la. Okay, let's see. Now for paper. This is my favorite part. Okay. Let me flip this over. Well, wait, guys, before, because if it gets too close, let me just show you this. I have to sh share this with you. I put these in here, and um, I'm so proud of myself because I actually scanned these guys and coffee dyed them. And look at that. You have lines on there. It's kind of like the Paula Lemon effect, I think, because what all I did was laid um, some index cards, but not every index card is going to transfer. It, I don't know if it's the cheap ones or not, but anyway, we'll, I, we could talk about that later, I suppose. But I just laid some index cards on there. Now, some of the index cards I have don't transfer like that, is what I'm trying to say. And some of them do. And it's pretty cool. And so I just had, I was so proud of that. I was like, wow, that's really cool. So these are coffee dyed. Um, the originals of these ladies I have. There's an old sewing machine coffee dyed piece. 
and there's a lady uh, sewing there and then there's another index card transfer on the back of that and those are coffee dyed pieces okay I had to ha say that um, in case my video just shuts down and um, you know just kind of like blah 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 and it stops okay let me see if I can go quickly pattern paper ledger paper lots of ledger and this is the big old ledger paper right there more ledger and this is all vintage that's written on there are those Tim Holtz inspired ladies and I think they look pretty cool I don't know who looks the most sewing like <laughs> they all do to me actually um, they're beautiful um, this is some map pages and more ledger another ledger more ledger um, this is really thick cardstock but it's so pretty uh, let's see I think that's that's vintage but it's Oh, I don't know. It's not the watercolor paper I found. It's drawing paper. File folder. Dictionary. Very, very, very fragile. Be careful with it. Vintage. You can scan it if you want music paper. Some of my scanned um, copy images of old uh, packaging that I had and then I, I've given it away. Or not given it away, but put added it in um, kits. <laughs> Duh. Love those scissors. There's a sewing machine. Love this image, guys. Isn't that pretty? Scissors. Thread needle. Sewing machine. Tailoring tactics. We all can use various tactics, right? Or actually, people are <laughs> using those already. I'm just behind. I'm catching up. Tactics. <laughs> Gotta have tactics. Love this. This is my great auntie style. She had a lot of sewing patterns like that. Um, there's a lady sewing some of that vintage, very thin, almost like wrapping paper buttons. This is my favorite image here, and before this video gets crazy, look at that. I've shown this before. I think I scanned this and sent some images off to in another kit. This comes from, let me just go ahead and pop out why I was so excited about this kit. Because of my Rebookery Gina book, I had one. Look at that. And I'll link um, Gina, uh, the rebookery, if I haven't already. I mentioned, sometimes I just mention the same um, artist's names over and over again because I'm, I'm just stuck on them for, you know, for a while. I'll get on and move on. But, yeah, I just, I just love it. And so this book came away nicely. It gutted out pretty good. It's vintage, that vintage yellowing, uh, naturally aged love that and thank you Gina for um, kind of you know making us all you know kind of wake up heads up for these old uh, Better Homes and Gardens books more really old antique paper of some buttons there's some cool ladies there I can't show everything guys my videos are so long I just uh, anyway <laughs> it's a lot to, to show I guess coffee dyed that's pretty I love my coffee dad I'm a coffee dye snob <laughs> and yeah I am <laughs> More, um, oh, what do you call it? Ledger paper. I can only be a coffee dye snob, though, 
you know, if I'm selling my coffee dye, if I'm not selling my coffee dye, I need to not be a snob. And I mean that humbly. Can you be a snob and be humble at the same time? Is that possible? I think I'm getting into my Rosemary Morris stuff. There's Mickey, and he's sewing. And there's, um, oh my gosh, I took my nieces and nephews to see this a thousand years ago. Uh, a Bug's Life, I think is what that was called. And there's a thimble there. There's a pretty vintage lady there, an art piece. Here's some old high school vintage images and they're sewing there. Ledger, more ledger. These are all vintage pages. I love this page here. That's really awesome for sizing. Wallpaper to die cuts. A map. There's Texas. That's where I'm from. That's my native state. That's where I born. I was born. And um, that's where I get my thick skin from. Right there. <laughs> you can tell I got excited about that because I missed a word in there. This is um, my junky junk usual. And it's not junk, it's vintage linen and cardstock. Filler paper is what I call this, guys. It's just to fill your journal up. Parchment paper. You can watch, um, hear that? That's thick cardstock. A big, fat, long pattern that's got, um, 1986 can you see that yeah and that's got a lot of uh, white pattern paper in it and so many different um, designs that's really cool stuff doilies I'm in the market for some more doilies when I, you know, I look my, I try my best to find more when I go out because I would love to give a uh, wrap. I love this mulberry paper. There's some writing paper. And I showed this um, before, it's got a little letter you know original paper in it but it's real leaves and all that that's so cool I don't know I think it can fit in a sewing um, journal or whatever journal envelopes 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 junk paper envelopes more stenography more cardstock envelopes a butterfly envelopes Cards, writing paper, writing paper, book pages, aged book pages. Those aren't coffee dyed. Messaging pads, writing paper, um, hmm. I can't remember what you call those right now. They used to go on the outside of file folders. Writing paper. Envelopes. More envelopes. Love the black. Blue envelope security. Envelopes. Popcorn. More vintage. 
vintage fragile 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 um, dictionary and somehow know that those are correlating to uh, sewing there's some words in there somewhere and there oops some florals okay I had to make sure my camera's still going children's book page paper she's cute and sewing book pages that say fashion and some other words that correlate envelopes time cards sewing vintage vintage love that vintage that's from the 60s um, and here's some of this old magazine work basket magazine is what it's called it's got some really neat ads in there there's some lace and crochet um, she's sewing rugs here's some stickers these uh, guys when I found these they were just imperfect and the way they throw stuff in a bend I dropped this one and I couldn't find it in the thrift store so it's kind of you know but it says I'm so happy you have me in stitches there's a needle and some thread and some other cute stuff and that's from simple stitches I think is what that's called writing paper needles fashion It's like that mulberry paper, envelopes, cardstock, envelopes, envelopes, and gold. Bingo. From my great auntie's estate, ephemera. Pattern paper. There's Audrey Hepburn. That's so cool. And then some images from paper. And more old vintage images, sewing patterns in paper. Envelopes, glassine bags, glassine, black bag, carts, uh, craft stock, more dictionary. There's that other old talon um, zipper piece that I just threw in there. I put a clip to hold it down. It's old. You can fumble around with that and make tags with it. A pattern. And there's a piece of paper that I actually, you can see where I laid the index card down on that. And it transferred napkin. Some cardstock pieces. And some images from a magazine that my mom gave me relative to sewing, tailor and a sewing machine, envelope, cardstock envelope, and one of my coffee dyed index cards, vintage index card, bingo, flashcards. They're kind of yellowed too. And then some paint chips. Okay. Have a good night, everybody, or a good day, or a good evening, or a good morning, wherever you are in this lovely world. I hope we can keep it ours and take good care of it. Adios, sale pues, orale pues.